every time you have a little bit of his life. <laughs> Now is the Mate desktop with Stefano Karapetsas. Hi all. Uh, I am Stefano Karapetsas, uh, one of main developers of Mate, Mate desktop. And uh, I will start with the pronunciation uh, because many people ask the, the correct pronunciation. And it's Mate, the word that comes from Spanish. It's a beverage from the South America and made as another meaning, so it's math. Well. Okay, uh, the history of math starts with the uh, transition from GNOME 2 to GNOME 3. Uh, GNOME 3 is a nice desktop environment, but uh, it's an innovation and it's very, very different from uh, what GNOME 2 was. Uh, so, uh, when GNOME 3 came out, uh, Pebros, uh, an Argentinian uh, a Linux user, uh, start the fork. Uh, um, start the fork, uh, migrating uh, every GNOME 2 package. Uh, this was a big mistake because the GNOME 2 base was very large. Uh, so uh, there were a lot of packages in the first release of MATE. And the uh, uh, migrate script uh, was just a sad replace of the words, so it uh, came with a, a lot of bug, etc. But uh, also, if the, the first release of MATE was not perfect, uh, a lot of distribution started to include MATE in their re repositories. And also some distribution like Linux Mint or Salix uh, started to release uh, MATE editions of their distribution with MATE as the default desktop. And this uh, 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 came with a new community behind this new desktop environment. Uh, uh, Fiscolo, a German company, uh, donated us a server so we started to set up the official website the wiki the forum rc channels a uh, mailing list uh, and we choose uh, github at the, the for development for the us the source code uh, one of first question behind mate is why mate there are really a lot of alternatives like uh, new 3 but uh, GNOME 3, as I told before, is really different from GNOME 2. Uh, GNOME Classic, that comes from the latest GNOME 3 release, is only a set of extensions of GNOME 3. So uh, it requires new hardware with 3D, etc. And it also has uh, the new file manager with the less features from the GNOME 2 one. And also the GNOME flash, flashback uh, edition is really different because it, uh, it comes without the control center, uh, with the, for example, the terminal without the transparent, um, transparent background option. And there are also uh, other GTK2 alternatives like LXDE or XFCE, but they are different desktop. Uh, the people behind Matt and uh, that like the, the Gnome 2 edition uh, want to stay with Gnome 2. So this is the main reason behind Mate. So uh, the latest release, that 1.6, uh, is our idea of Gnome 2.34. And the main news of this release are almost all obsolete technology removed, like the folks of Bonobo, Gconf, and we also added the, the support for the systemd because main distribution now are using systemd and a lot of bug fixes and also small new features because uh, we as Mate team decided to add only small features and to keep the all all the present features. And also we released the times with the, the GTK3 support. So users that use both 
uh, GTK2 and GTK3 application are not issues with TMS. And the latest release uh, was the result of the eight months of development, uh, almost 2,000 commits on it by 69 people. And also we have uh, 150 translators. Uh, we managed uh, translation with the uh, Transifex. And so uh, a lot of people is behind the latest release. So uh, the, the new features in MATE are, we could start with the uh, NyanCat. This was the first difference uh, between Nyon2 and MATE. But uh, this is now removed to give uh, to MATE a more serious experience. And the new features in the latest release are the option to center the new windows, like uh, the way of GNOME 3. Uh, we added the new arguments to the panel, like the option to reset the configuration. Uh, this was a missing feature in GNOME 2. Uh, and also a way to start the run dialog, uh, because if the user uh, use a different uh, window manager from the default one, as no op option to run the, run the dialog. Uh, and also uh, in MATE, you can close the windows with the middle click of the mouse on the bottom list of the windows. Uh, we also provided the new teams for the notification, for the notification daemon. Uh, we also added the empress support for media keys for media player because uh, most of media players support the new the bus communication. So uh, adding MPRIS, we are sure that uh, all media players work with MATE. Uh, and also uh, we added the support for Compix and Metacity. So if you, from the MATE control center, if you change the window manager theme, we also change the theme of the Compix or Metacity if they are running. We also uh, added the new features to the file manager, Kaya, like the Android Rido. Now it's, this feature is also in Nautilus, but we added it before. Uh, we also added a button to get the difference of text files when you overwrite it. Uh, and also we restored the edit location button on the location bar. And in the latest release, we also have the new teams uh, designed for MATE. This is the default one, uh, MATE, uh, MENTA, sorry. Uh, and also the MENTA icon team. We have also uh, a black team in the default package, black MATE. Uh, and also another one, Green Laguna. And this is with the second uh, MATE icon team. Uh, it comes from Faenza. Uh, so uh, for us, uh, the 1.6 release was a success because it's included in some big distributions like Fedora, Mint, Savion, and Salix. And there are also packages available in, rep in repositories for many distributions provided by the community for Arch Linux, for Debian, for Gen2, also for OpenSUSE, for Slackware, and Ubuntu. Uh, the community uh, behind MATE is a growing community. We have uh, uh, almost 70 people always on our first uh, channel on IPC. We have 10 active contributors. And the nice thing is uh, most of them are people behind the distribution, distribution uh, maintainers of MATE that contribute also upstream. Uh, for example, we have 1,000 more than 1,000 members on the official forum, with many many posts every day, and also we uh, get we got uh, 1,400 comments on the website because uh, every uh, matter release announce as the users can comment it. Uh, we also got a, a Google, Google Summer of Code student under Fedora project is working on uh, adding support for GTK3 on MATE, because this is the a goal of the next release. Uh, and we also are, are receiving a lot of donations from users, from companies that use MATE in, in their offices. So this is a good thing. 
Uh, what are the two main goals of the MATE project? And the first one is to keep the traditional desktop metaphor. So uh, our first goal is to keep alive the new true desktop experience. So because many users like this desktop, so we'll add uh, small new features. We'll keep each feature that we have in, uh, at the moment. And we'll add support for the new libraries for new technologies, keeping the same desktop experience. Uh, the other main goal is be an alternative for lower end hardware. Because uh, uh, not all people uh, use newer hardware with 3D capacity of so on. So uh, we'll provide always a desktop that can run also on old hardware. Uh, we also started a new project, the MAD University, uh, that targets are, are all levels of developers, from the expert ones or the beginners. Uh, this project uh, contains, is hosted on GitHub and contains uh, a lot of examples of how to develop uh, extension for MATE, like the applets for the panel, uh, extensions for the file manager, for plugin uh, for the image viewer or for the text editor, etc. It's a new project, so we are working hard on it. Uh, so, the future of MATE. This is uh, a list of the main things we have on the roadmap for the next release. Uh, the first one is the support for GTK3 and Wayland. Uh, we talk about support because it's not an effective migration to GTK3, because we uh, will keep the support to build MATE with GTK2, because we talk with, with uh, distribution maintainers and not all maintainers uh, want MATE with GTK3. So uh, every distribution will choose if build MATE with GTK2 or GTK3. Uh, we'll complete support for systemd because we uh, are only uh, in basic support now, so we'll complete the support to, for every feature in systemd that is related to the desktop environments. Uh, we'll also support GStreamer 1.0, the newer version. But as the new version uh, break the old one, also the, uh, here we talk about support. So you will co can compile uh, MATE with uh, the new or the old version. Uh, we'll also support account service. And also we will add uh, uh, new features like the window snapping in the window manager or we'll, load, uh, we'll develop a plugin system for the file manager because uh, at the moment the extension for the file manager are not uh, uh, available to be enabled or disabled uh, at runtime. So you need to restart the file manager to uh, load the new extension and so on. So a plugin system will mm, give the users the availability to disable or enable the plugin during the use. Uh, and also we'll remove the, the latest forks that we'll believe uh, are useless for MATE, uh, like the K-Ring, the weather applet, the, the weather applet library. Uh, Yelp to, we'll use Yelp tools to build the documentation instead of the MATE document system that we have now, etc. Uh, I'll talk also about MATE in OpenSUSE. This is the OpenSUSE conference. So uh, we, we have already a team that is building packages for uh, OpenSUSE. Uh, we have uh, a portal on the OpenSUSE wiki. And also we have already uh, repositories for all uh, current uh, OpenSUSE versions. And the reasons that we want uh, uh, MATE included in OpenSUSE are to give a choice to users, uh, because it's another desktop environment uh, uh, maintained, so we believe uh, many OpenSUSE users will like it. And also, uh, we want to, key to, to give to all the OpenSUSE users the traditional desktop, because uh, Nyongchu was one of the default uh, desktop environments. 
of the past version of open source. And also, uh, we are an alternative, like I told before, for old hardware. Uh, and for example, we are also developing the new main menu. It was the default menu in OpenSUSE and GNOME 2. And with a collaboration with new developers, uh, we are uh, uh, keeping it. We migrated it to Mate without uh, make a fork. So we are developing a new main menu in a new infrastructure. The source code for the new main menu is hosted on new website. Uh, another example of the Mate usage is on device like Raspberry. Uh, Raspbian is the, the default distribution uh, for Raspberry uh, by the producer, and it comes with an official repository for Mate. And it's running well on this kind of devices. Uh, and also we are uh, a choice for LTSP users, uh, because uh, LTSP users uh, have uh, old hardware and not uh, powerful like the new hardware. So uh, some LTSP developers are working with us to, to make uh, MATE a choice for L their users. Well, if you want to contribute to MATE project, this is a, a list of available way to contribute on IRC. Uh, we have uh, the uh, bug, uh, <coughs> bug management on GitHub, we have a mailing list, and we have the official websites. Okay, I completed the presentation. If you have uh, any question. Uh, will Mate be available for SUSE Linux Enterprise Desktop? Uh, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> we, uh, we hope it will be included in the uh, open source for now, but I don't know if SUSE employers will include it in the, their SUSE Enterprise Linux. Other questions? No? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.